believe that we are 10 years ahead in time and uh, what uh, we have done actually for this conference, we did uh, an extensive uh, search to find which was the most influential paper for the last 10 years. Uh, so it's my honor and privilege uh, to present to you uh, the uh, recipients of this award, uh, which actually is a landmark award. This is the best paper, the most influential paper in the last 10 years of the conference, and uh, I'm happy uh, to present uh, that to you. Unfortunately, I don't have the title of the paper because I thought it was going to be on the floor. <laughs> so somebody forgot that. <laughs> so yeah. my memory yeah. does here, not... Here, 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 yes. Now I can see it. The title, <laughs> yeah, the title is here. It came back after 10 years. So, automatic composition of e-services at that time, we were talking about e-services that export the behavior, and I'm really pleased uh, to <coughs> announce that Daniela Berardi, Diego Calvalese, Giuseppe Di Giacomo, Maurizio Lenzerini, and Massimo Mezzella are the people who wrote that influential paper. And of course, this is a paper which got the most numbers of citations so far, and I'm really happy to say that Giacomo uh, and Giuseppe Di Giacomo and Massimo Macella are here to receive the award, and I'm very, very pleased and honored to congratulate you. Giuseppe now will tell how it was going on. 
So, actually, let me go back to this. <coughs> So this is the very slide from Daniela's presentation. The idea is that here we have a virtual service. This service doesn't exist. These actions are not available anywhere. But instead, we have a service that are not simple. They have a state. And this service can be described using these actions. So the whole idea of this thing was how can we realize, so can we implement this service by delegating the execution of action to these guys that are actually available. And uh, here, there is the tree of computation, then we start labeling the tree of computation, the tree is infinite, but then we got into a, a final setting, and so that's the, the story. <laughs> Somebody has So actually, it was a seminar work for us, so we work a lot. So we work a lot on the follow-up of the paper. So we actually implemented a prototype by 2005. And uh, we actually work on very many variants uh, of, uh, the, of, the, of uh, the idea. OK, devilish and angelic, no determinism, uh, incomplete information, many other things. In 2005, we actually had a paper in which we that we done as well. And there, Roman model started to be used uh, as the name of this, uh, this kind of work. Since then, a lot of other work has been going on. I just want to notice that many of these work actually switch to a different kind of community, so to AI. So because people in AI started looking at this work as a way of composing behavior of agents. So they are looking at agents, they are studying agents. And uh, the idea of composition of service could actually be also used for doing composition of behavior, of devices, intelligent devices. A lot of other people have been more direct in the research. Many people, this is just, just a few others. And uh, maybe you want to Yes. And so, from that seminal paper, what happened, as Giuseppe told, uh, we make a lot of, uh, there were a lot of improvements. In particular, we are very proud, as we said, this paper was a nice example on how to match practical application with the uh, theoretical web fund stuff. We implemented a second prototype that was effectively used in the, the new project, that was the small project which we applied to smart homes. Today, we taught uh, automatic composition of services in courses in La Sapienza, and our student who uses the software tool that we implemented over these uh, last 10 years. There have been a lot of variants of the model and not only for it. And for example, recently the Axie project has uh, been, uh, uh, got an excellent mark by addressing the issue of how to consider also services and processing data where. Uh, uh, that, that should be that aware. What how we are today? Giuseppe, me, and Maurizio are still in La Sapienza. Diego has moved to Bolzano, and Daniela currently works in the private sector. Has just released the second kid, so she's not here for this reason. And just the last car. Who, the people who knows the Roman models uh, very often call us as the odd couple because me and Giuseppe from that seminar paper started to advertise, let's say, the particular approach in which you do, that show you that you can merge practical application with the well funded theory and uh, up to you to decide who is Walter Matau and Jack Lemmon. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Summer.